we're getting there. Five, four, three. What's up, guys? I am Goose. I'm here casting the Infinity B Team Open. Tonight, we are blessed with a full bracket and two baller casters. I am casting tonight on whatever side of the bracket I happen to end up on. And uh, Vampy War, my good friend, is casting the other half. And I'm assuming at some point we will meet on our way to the finals. And you guys will get your fair share of games. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll get to pick up a lot of things. If you're not, if you're not and you're watching live, you're watching the stream, you get to watch these games. You know how it goes. So let's go ahead and crack down. Uh, this is game one. WCS Shakur Plateau. Like I said, full bracket, 32 players. So we are going to have several rounds and lots of fun. Up in the top right, we have our Purple Terran, Archangel. Never seen this guy before. Not that that's a bad thing. Don't know who he is, but uh, I'm assuming he's a pretty good Terran. And uh, we have Steel in the bottom left. We have seen Steel a few times before. He's been in the last couple events. Made it a round or two at best. Uh, maybe three. Maybe I'm... Maybe You know what? He, he's actually a pretty decent player uh, from what I remember. But we all know that my memory's in the toilet. Uh, while we get all this stuff out of the way where these guys get the basics, start building supply depots and pylons and probes and SUVs and all that fun stuff. Uh, I mean, you guys know the openings if you're playing. Of course you know the openings. You guys can check out my overlay. I got anything and everything on there. Uh, my personal stream, the stream that you're watching this on, or the YouTube channel you are watching this on. If you are on one or the other or all three, whatever it happens to be, just make sure you visit all those pages, follow us, like us, find us, love us. There's also infgaming.net. That is our website. That's where you're going to uh, get all the information on the forums and make sure you're getting active and involved in our community. You can come out and play these tournaments every weekend. Bronze through gold, Saturday night, 6 p.m. PST. And Sunday night, 6 p.m. PST, we got the Platinum Up. Uh, Archangel goes ahead and scouts the only place his opponent cannot possibly spawn. That's okay. Uh, Steel is going to go ahead and harass this SCV. I like to see that. That's good fun right here. It does force the Terran to pull an SCV off the... Mineral line back there. And is he going to get it? Uh, is he going to get it? Ah, shocked to death. So he gets that first blood there. Steel's got an early quarter of an inch lead. Oh, he might even get a second one here. Another SCV has to get pulled off the line. He is going to get the second one if it's not pulled. Pull him. Pull him. He's dead. Archangel does scout his opponent. Gas is down. Gateway's down. You guys got that production tab up for you. You got the nameplates up for you. So you all don't have to get drunk. I know you guys love that. Don't die with the casting, I'm being told. Don't die. Alright, I won't. I won't kill myself. Oh, for those of you that want to get involved in the community, a lot of us do uh, cast, co-cast, coach, play, teach, love, StarCraft. And this Marine is going to get his first kill too. And Terran is finally going to... Oh, jacked. But chaos by the SCV. Yeah, chaos, yeah. You guys, know, you guys know that? You guys play League of Legends? Two pros moving out. This is uh, odd. Not a, a miss rally? Maybe a miss rally? What is he doing? It must be a miss rally. Yep, I think so. He caught it there before that, right before that, right after that third probe kicked out. So uh, he's so he's doing a little late term extra scouting. A couple Marines out, a two racks going down, double gas. And our Protoss buddy also going double gas. Steel saying, oops, I think he caught that miss rally as well. You know how it goes. Getting the pylons, making sure they're not supply blocked. Actually, nice timing on that pylon. He's at 25 supply right now. That 25th probe kicking out. 26 will start up, and he will keep himself from being blocked. Got that zealot out. Here comes a sentry. Uh, most Protoss players do go for the stalker, but uh, sentry's cool from the defensive standpoint. And an early ghost academy. Oh, yeah. How about them nukes? Come on. Come on. Oh, love them nukes. Oh, interestingly, you guys can get yourself on the top five. That is done by Miss, one of our casters. It is an awesome selection of uh, just games that people have seen, uh, generally Infinity members from the tournaments or uh, cool tournament plays that we have seen. And I lost the game on the ladder the other night because I was laughing so hard because the Terran nuked his own 200 supply army during my engagement. And, and that's, that's, that's what I want to see right here. I mean, I don't really want to see Archangel lose that way, but uh, I cannot tell you how hard I was laughing. 
because I engaged and I saw the little red dot, the little nuke dot. Everybody loves the little nuke dot. And I kind of like timed it out and then I pulled back and his army followed and I was like, no friggin' way! And just nukeified. It was, it was unbelievable. I mean, almost n every Terran will cancel the nuke or... I guess he just thought it was going to land and I was just like, nope, I'm going to pull back. And it was awesome. I know I'm way off topic, but yeah, they're just they're just building up. Got the Ghost Academy. That was exciting. Researching that their, uh, that their Mobius reactor. Needs that ghost energy. We're going to probably see some EMPs. Maybe? EMPs? EMPs? Doesn't have any ghosts out yet. Just a few Marines. Got one on the way. Ghosts are expensive. To say the least. Very expensive. You don't see them early game very often, but, uh... That'll make it bad. That could make it cool. Ghosts are also a very powerful unit. Obviously, late game. Steel's gonna scout and know that his opponent has not expanded. He's taking an expansion of his own. Guess he's feeling pretty comfortable. He's on three gates and a robo, which is very standard. PVT. Uh, standard, 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 standard. Pretty standard. A lot of three gate pressure coming out of Protosses, but he scouted that uh, natural. He's probably saying, all right, I'm up on bases. I'm gonna go for the economy lead. Meanwhile, a massive ghost marine, which is already broken because there's ghosts, but uh, the marines, I mean, tier 5 units are just OP. That's not even cool. I know you guys think they're tier 1 units, but they're tier 5. Marines are awesome! Stim the win, baby. Stim the win. If you can't tell from my overlay, I'm a Protoss player, so I don't, I don't like Terran. But I'm as I'm objective as possible when it comes to these tournaments. Archangel's a little oversaturated here. Look at this. Uh, yeah, just a just a bit. Um, two harvesters in each gas, but uh, he's spending the money pretty well. Gonna start his expansion himself. Steals it as finished up, and went double gas. Only mining from one at the moment, but double gas, double gas, double gas for that robo. Here's that robo bay. You're gonna see some colossi production pretty soon. Sending a couple of marines out. I'm assuming he's gonna split those for the watchtower. Or just, he just knows this probe is there. Nice pull. Very nice spot from Steel Nader. Paying attention to the bottom left hand corner of his map. That is beautiful. Warping in a few stalkers. Stalkers are very good against Marines. Especially in the early game. I mean, overall, but especially in the early game. Small numbers, you can out micro them. Do tons of damage. Tons of damage. That Robo Bay just finished up. Look at that production tap from our Terran player. He's got a lot going on up there. I love that. Very nice, very nice. Starting the uh, thermal lance and going ahead and hey, gonna go ahead and get his first colossi out on the map at the 10 minute mark. Not bad. Most Terrans would be making that marine marauder medevac push. More marine medevac push, I guess, is probably the equivalent. But he is slightly delayed in the relative timing due to this uh, ghost factory. Ghost fa It's a ghost factory, guys. A ghost factory. Uh. Uh, nicknaming the Terran building. It's all good. All right, here comes a Raven. So this is a very non-standard way to play, I guess. Is 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 cool. Yeah, interesting style though. Very unique. Getting that expansion out. Nice pylon placement. Got good vision of his base just in case for drops. And that first Colossi is out. And he can't land his command center because he doesn't want to squish his own units. There we go. Scans after spotting the observer, very nice. So Steel should know that there are ghosts in the mix with energy and EMP, and they are almost all full energy already at this point. Which means EMP, EMP, make a nuke, make a nuke, do it. God, I love nukes. Oh, I believe it was last week we were blessed with the we were blessed with a highly uh, highly lovable nuking player. I like his supply depot. I guess he's gonna make a wall. That, that bothers me right there. I don't know how many of you are OCD about your Sim City and your base, but that off by a hex. Oh God! Banshee production. Yeah, yeah, making them banshees. So this is looking a little two base all inish, and Steel's moving out across the map. Does have the supply lead? Two colossus, very good. Couple EMPs though, and uh, oh, doesn't have enough energy for a PPD. Which would shut down all these stalkers, but he might by the time he gets there. <coughs> the standoff. The standoff that nobody knows about. Can't see. Can't see. Oh, 
he's pushing up the ramp, and here it is. He's gonna get the EMPs off. He is not. He steps into this army. I'm not sure if that was a mistake or not. Going for the claw side. There's the EMPs killing all the shields from the. But he's lost so many units already. And he's nice force fields pushing the units back. Got a decent little. No concave for anybody, even though our Protoss buddy's fighting up the ramp. He's actually crushing his opponent. 0 0 to 0 0. So there's no upgrades for either of these players. And it looks like Steel might be able to push in. Although Archangel lifts off to defend. And more stalkers being warped in. Right at the front of the ramp, there's just nothing left for Archangel to defend with. He does not have anything, and there's the GG. Well played. Sorry to see you go so soon, sir. And we'll move on to the next little round.